here i can take a small topology i can take one router i can take one switch here yesterday we design i think i lose that topology so anyhow we will do again so this is the router i can rename here the label i can put r1 i can put this one as a sw1 and here i can connect so i can connect from r1 to switch 1 from switch to pc in this one sw1 so now what we will do we will put here like 192.168. 1.1 i am putting this one same subnet we can say i am using the class c slash 24 i am using here also i will put same thing 192.168.1.2 slash 24 and here i will assign this ip 192.168.1.3 slash 24 now we will do the configuration so i can do the configuration in the notepad or directly i can go to the device i can do that configuration inside the device also so i will write here i will write here like uh, telnet configuration or telnet lab i can say this is a telnet lab we can write here i will do first for r1 so i will write r1 configuration then enable config t why i am writing enable because i am in the privilege user mode so I, if i write en that is nothing but enable i will go to the privilege mode after that if i write config t i will go in the global configuration mode then i will write here host name sw or whatever the name we have the r1 i will write r1 now i need to assign the ip address to the router interface so if you see this is the interface which is connecting to router you can see here this interface is connecting to router and this interface is connecting to the switch so now i need to put this ip inside this interface so how we will put we can go here we can write interface shortcut we can write int interface f0 by 0 then press enter write ip address you can write full form or you can write shortcut add and whatever the ip address we plan you can put that one 192.168.1.1 give space to 55.255.255.0 and we will write here no shut okay no shut because by default all the ports are done so i let me write here where i am i will write no shut okay after that what we can do we can uh, we assign the ip so one thing we done now we need to enable the telnet example if you want to enable the telnet you need to write enable secret or password any password you can give you can give password if i write enable password this will be the normal password not encrypted one if you want to give the encrypted one you can write here secret so that is up to us which one we want even if we no need to write complete spelling you can write little and you can give the password example i am giving abc so i enable the secret password here after that we need to do the line so i will write line vty i want to enable only two line 0 and 1 so you will have two line two guys can access the device telnet remotely same time if third guy is coming and he is trying to connect he cannot so after that you will write password give any password i will give example cisco okay after that login that's all so when i put like this this is the telnet configuration this is a telnet configuration from here to here so what i will do i will copy this whole thing and i will paste inside the router we can do like that also or directly you can type inside router or type in the notepad and go here and write here no and paste here just i will paste here if you see i paste here and you can check everything is good no error nothing sometime we will have the error also here so you need to observe carefully do we have any error here no we don't have any error so now what we can do here in this pc i can go inside the pc i will assign the ip address here i will say 192.168.1.3 and then press here subnet mask will come automatically and this is the router interface ip we will have this one as a gateway to our computer so we can put this ip here 192.168.1.1 1.1 so we put here 192.168.1.1 1.1. this will be the gateway default gateway and click here and go to the command prompt here you need to write telnet and give space and write here the ip address of the router imagine you are sitting in the ground floor router is sitting in the fifth floor 
and you are doing the telnet so if you are writing 192.168.1.1 1 press enter you can see it is asking you the password so whatever password you give here this one you need to write that here so you will write cisco because you give the password as cisco so once you write cisco you are inside the router so it look like you are directly connected to the router with the console cable but you are not connected with the console router is in the fifth floor you are sitting in the first floor remotely you are accessing now you can write en they will ask you the enable password if you see we give enable password is abc so we can give abc and if you want to write show ip interface brief you can write whatever configuration you want to check show run if you want to check the running configuration whatever you want to do you can do remotely you are accessing here imagine you have one more device like this another computer here we will connect from this side to this side and here i will assign the ip example i will put the ip for this computer is 192.168.1.4.1.4/24 okay now we can assign this ip inside this machine i can go here 192.168. One dot four. Give give. You can press tab key and write here one ninety two dot one sixty eight dot one dot five. Sorry, one dot gateway. Gateway is one dot one router interface IP, which is connecting towards us. Okay, so I assign IP here. Now I can do the telnet for this from this device also. I can write telnet and put the router IP here one ninety two one sixty eight one dot one. Press enter. Write here what is the password Cisco. whatever we write here we need to type that one only uh, telnet password is cisco so you can write here cisco and press enter so you are inside the router and enable password you give abc so you will put this device and this device both devices doing the telnet same time because we wrote here lan vty 0 to 1 0 to 1 means two number two device can access the device remotely this two pc is accessing this is one pc and another pc this one this two pc but if i take one more pc here and if i connect this pc with this cable and if i try to make the communication then it will not work if i do the telnet we will get the issue because only two guys can access same time another guy need to disconnect the connection then only this guy can use let me show you that also i will go here in this computer i will configure here and i gateway will be the same thing router interface ip and go to the terminal here and do here you will write here telnet and put here ip what ip you want to do the telnet to the router interface put here see it is not working why because already here telnet is uh, session is open and here telnet session session is open both the places telnet session is open that's why you are not getting here 